What's up guys, it's LK Anthony and welcome back to the RSX vlog that you hopefully know and hopefully continue to love because in today's video we are unboxing, mounting, and fitting a new wheel and tire setup. Let's go. Alright, so you know what they say, new year, new shoes, or something like that. So in today's video, we are going to be unboxing, mounting, and test fitting a new wheel and tire setup on the Acura RSX Type S. Now, some of you might be thinking, Anthony, another set of wheels and another set of tires on this car, what gives? Well, for the longest time, I have wanted a slightly wider set of wheels and a stickier, more aggressive set of tires for this car, specifically for that delicious summertime canyon carving. And while this setup was supposed to come closer to summer, I kind of pulled the trigger early and here we are. So let's jump into this. Now, most YouTubers making a video like this would probably try to call this video something like the unveiling of my track setup. But that really wouldn't be true for myself as we don't really have any tracks here in Idaho. But we do have some pretty amazing back roads. So instead of a track setup, I'm gonna call this the All Day Anthony Back Road Special. Now, before we unbox the new wheel setup, let me just state that I still absolutely love my Koenig Neoforms and the Nitto NT555 G2s. I have no complaints at all with this wheel or tire setup. This is still going to be my primary setup. This is just gonna be the cherry on top for summertime driving. Now, where did I put that knife? And here we go. These are a 17 by eight and a half with a 38 offset. To be honest, I've one of these wheels ever since I saw them. My initial plan was to actually go with these wheels for this car, but I had to have five spoke wheels. Whether they were OEM or aftermarket, I had to have five spoke wheels for this car. So these right here are definitely going to change up the look, change up the style, and obviously change up the color to kind of brighten up the side profile by just a bit. But I do think that these are gonna be a little bit more eye-catching. So again, 17 by eight and a half, they are gonna be slightly wider, half an inch wider than these being a 17 by eight out of 38 offset. So everything is the same, other than just being a half an inch wider. So as far as the fronts go, that's actually gonna be perfect by kicking that out by just a little bit. But on the rears here, that's where it's going to be a for sure fender roll. Technically on the 17 by eights here, these should have rolled fenders here, especially with how low I am. Uh, so that's gonna be something I'm gonna to have to do 100% for this new setup is get these slightly rolled here to get that to fit. So uh, anyways, I'm just so pumped on the way that these things look and I cannot wait to get the tires mounted and do the test fit tomorrow to see how everything looks. So with the helograms covered, let's jump to the Nitto and TO ones. All right, so for dinner, we've got the meat. Oh, it's cold and that really hurt. These are the Nitto NT01 and a 225 4517. These are gonna be more of a road course slash track focused tire, or in this video's case, the back road special. So I believe that this is technically Nitto's most aggressive tire that they make. They have the NT05, which I believe was either discontinued or stopped production. They have the NT01, and then they have the NT555. R2, which is gonna be kind of more of their drag radial style. So uh, the NT01 is definitely gonna be more of their track focused tire. Now, something that's interesting for all the tire nerds out there, and I'm not sure if this is public knowledge or if I'm supposed to say this or not, uh, but Nitto and Toyo are owned under the same umbrella company. And the Toyo R888R and the Nitto NT01, this tire right here, are made in the same exact factory, utilizing the same exact tire compound. So really the only difference between the R888R and the NT01 is the visual tread pattern here. So um, just 
use that information as you will. Uh, but I think that these things look absolutely amazing. This is going to look so freaking good. And these are going to be exceptionally, exceptionally sticky. Now, as far as how long these tires will last, technically these only have a 100 tread wear rating. So if you were to daily drive out in the wild on these, you're only going to get about 5,000 to 6,000 miles if you're rotating them often. At least that's what I read online. Uh, but if you're going out to the track and really ripping on these things and really heating them up, then they really are going to be worn by by, uh, heat cycles, or I guess that's how they're judged is by heat cycles until they are no longer good. So uh, awesome tire. They look amazing. They're going to grip amazing in the dry and in the heat, uh, but they are not good in the wet. They are not good in the cold. And so that's just something to keep in mind. Hence why this is definitely going to be a summer and back road set, not something on a daily drive like the NT555 G2s. But I'm really pumped on these. These are going to look absolutely amazing. This is definitely my most aggressive set of tires I've ever had. Uh, and I think that uh, yeah, it's totally going to change the way that this car feels up on those back roads. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to go down and get these things mounted, and then we're going to get our test fit. So see you in the morning. A few moments later. And good morning. It's time to get the wheels and tires loaded up in the back of the truck, and we are off to discount tire. Alright guys, so we just got back home from Discount Tire where I got to give a shout out to my boy Greg for always being meticulous and doing an amazing job whenever it comes to mounting my tires. He is truly the best in town. So if you're a local, check out Discount Tire on Eagle Road. So at this point in time, all we have left to do is get the center caps in. We got the garage heater going to warm this place up. I got my old washer and dryer in here for the vibes. So let's go ahead, test fit these, and fingers crossed they look awesome. Well, it's a damn shame that it is literally snowing outside right now because I would love to start rocking these wheels today. But unfortunately, this is pretty much as close as I'm gonna get for the next couple months. So what do you guys think? In my opinion, this looks extremely, extremely clean. Very OEM plus, and it kind of reminds me of the fitment I have with the deck grams on the Civic. The extra half inch really gave it a lot up front here, so you can actually kind of see I have a little bit of poke there, giving that a nice aggressive stance. This could be lower here for sure. So if I were to make any adjustments to the suspension, I'd actually drop this down maybe a quarter of an inch or so just to kind of get the spacing more correct. Uh, but here on the rear, damn dude, that's like, that's absolutely money. 17 by eight and a half plus 38 here on the rear. That looks, oh, I mean, damn near perfect. The only thing is that the fender definitely needs to be rolled. I would call it probably a mild roll. Nothing crazy, but it's definitely gonna be a must once the weather warms up. And so I am, yeah, 
I'm a huge fan of that rear fitment. I think it looks super aggressive, super mean. Uh, this right here, I just need to drop this down just a little bit further. But overall, I think the color is spot on. The titanium metallic really works well with the black. I think it kind of brightens up the car a little bit and offers a good contrast to the darker gun middle wheels that I already have. So. Uh, Color me impressed, I'm a pretty big fan. Now I believe, according to my friends at Koenig, I might be the first person with heliograms on an RSX that has posted about it online. I have not seen any other RSX with the heliograms, uh, let alone the combination with the NT01. So definitely a first, I think that this looks absolutely killer. So if you have an RSX and you're hunting for wheels, I mean, there you go. There's two Koenig wheels, the Neoforms right there, the heliograms, you can kind of get a good idea of what things look like, but yeah, I pretty much love the way this looks. All right guys, so I think it's gonna wrap it up for today's video. These wheels are gonna go into storage for the next couple months and then come springtime, we'll get the fenders rolled and this car will be ready to rock and roll on the back road specials come summertime. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, again, this wasn't really like a planned video. This is just kind of when everything came in. I thought, why the heck not? We'll just kind of film it and see what happens. And I also get to save space by not storing wheels and tires. Now it's kind of all in one. So anyway, hopefully you guys just enjoyed seeing the RSX. Maybe you got some inspiration for wheels and tires for your own whip. And as always, if you guys enjoy the Acura RSX content, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Aldi Anthony. Peace.